Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Aren't you just tired of harvesting day in and day out, spamming that F key? Well, wouldn't you want something like this? Watch the video and we're going to teach you how to make your own auto farm that's going to be just as cool as this. What's up everybody, it's your boy Captain Jack Tech with another tutorial on Roblox Skyblock. If you want to learn how to make such a crazy auto farm like we, we did here, such an efficient super farm as well, then make sure you smack the like on the video. Don't forget to also subscribe to the channel as well. So that way you get those notifications for future Roblox Skyblock videos and make sure you watch the video and we're going to be teaching you guys exactly how to do this. So let's dive right into it. So essentially some basic statistics about this auto farm. You're going to be gaining about 40 onions per minute with this farm here. On average, it depends on how often the onions spawn in and also the carrots too because there's going to be a dual farm. You're going to have one shoot for carrots, you're also going to have one shoot for onions as well so 40 carrots and 40 onions per minute here so very good money maker especially if you're afk farm and have an auto clicker going on on the chest on the bottom and you're good to go so here is the basic blueprint for this map right here i actually went onto the skyblock discord server and i thought it was really interesting and i decided to use this blueprint and that's gonna it's gonna be the basics behind this whole build right here. This is going to be the most efficient money to production auto farm because there's not going to be any excess dirt or totems. Six totems in a 5x9 area. That means that it's not going to be slow. It's going to be a very quick way in order to harvest automatically those crops. The system is going to be easily stackable as well. In the final build we actually had five layers of these farms built in on top of each other in order to create like a machine gun of onions and carrots shooting down the chute into the treasure chest on the bottom there so it's going to be really cool in order to get to that final product like that. Things that you will need for this farm though, you're going to need obviously you're going to need dirt, you're going to need six totems, two conveyor belts, you need two solid blocks, maybe use just stone for that and then you're also going to need that hole in the middle right there so follow the diagram that's going to be the basic blueprint for this auto farm right here. As for the chute in the bottom where everything is going to be going in, you're going to need the industrial chest with the conveyor insert attachment to it as well with another conveyor belt so that way everything's going to run into the conveyor belt and it's going to go right into the treasure chest where you're going to be able to collect your goods here. If you're wondering how many blocks you want to place between the stacks here, I did four blocks in between each stack so count up four blocks from the other auto farm then place another one right on top of it four blocks high and that's gonna be a very good spacing indicator right there we ended up improving on the blueprint original design by adding in a funnel that leads in between the layers here so you gotta make sure you put four stone blocks on each of the corners of the hole then you can use your glass panels in order to create an extended funnel that leads to the next hole. It's going to be a great way to ensure that your carrots and onions don't go flying off in between the layers here and it's actually going to make it all the way down to the treasure chest where you're going to be able to collect them. You can go extra fancy like what we did in the video here as well. You could do like an outer ridge so that way you'll be able to walk inside the farm, you'll be able to walk on the outer edge of the farm with the fence and the glass and everything. It looks really good like this, it looks beautiful. and. It also performs as well, so you get a win-win situation, it doesn't look ugly, and it also performs as an efficient farm as well. You gotta keep in mind though, this farm is gonna be super super expensive, especially with all the onion and carrot totems here, and you also gotta keep in mind that you're not gonna be gaining any seeds from this auto farm as well, so make sure you have a bunch of onion seeds and carrot seeds stocked up in advance. I'd recommend at least 200 seeds in order to start things off with a couple of auto farms 
So make sure you have a huge amount of seeds starting up here so you can actually make this farm possible. Also another thing to note as well, it's not going to be 100% efficient. It's probably going to be like 80 to 90% efficient because as the onions go down the chute, some of them are going to be stuck due to their round nature. It's going to be very hard for the onions to uh, go down the chute 100%. So there's going to be some stuck onions, but then again, the item limit in the game is going to be refreshing those onions that get stuck, so you won't get too many stuck in the process right there. For the carrots, it works a lot better because they're not rounded, they're going to be shaped in a, well, like a carrot, so it's going to be a lot more easier for the carrots to go down the chute in order to collect them in the treasure chest. The way you stack the whole farm, the way you design the farm is up to you. We ended up doing it as a Chinese style with the, it looks like kind of like one of those Chinese houses, I forget the name of it, but it looks really cool. Overall, a really amazing auto farm design right here, especially since you can use it with an auto clicker while you're sleeping or whatnot, or if you're away from the keyboard, you're gonna be getting lots of onions, lots of carrots as well. You could probably improve on the design even further by adding both shoots together with the carrots and the onions so that way you're gonna have a whole big chest but that's for another video maybe to improve on the design there so really good farm hopefully you guys enjoyed it hopefully this was helpful for you too as well don't forget to like and subscribe for more roblox skyblock content coming out on the channel to help you guys get rich and we'll see you on the next one take care everybody Hey y'all, thanks so much for watching, make sure you definitely smack a like and also subscribe to the channel if you are new, we'll see you all next time. Yarrr!